everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2024 BMW i5 M60 in Brooklyn gray metallic with the copper brown slash Atlas gray merino leather inside. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW i5 M60 in Brooklyn gray metallic. And inside we've got the carp copper brown slash Atlas gray merino leather so this is the first one I've seen in this color and it's the first one I've seen with that interior color as well so definitely had to get this one on camera before it gets sold and then I missed my chance so this one's got the 21s on there and of course being the M60 model incredible torque <laughs> lots of power and uh, some interesting things on this unit so we're going to do a lap it's just on the front pad here so I'm a little bit limited for space but not too bad not as bad as the showroom so why don't we get into all the details so this is Brooklyn gray metallic not wash this car is actually filthy but the color itself is extremely forgiving when it comes to dirt we've got that grill illuminated we've got the headlights on we've got the blue accent on the rondelle there so that's giving uh, away that this is the electric vehicle so let me get that kidney grill back on there M badging on the driver's side here front facing camera for 180 view and uh, those headlights they look mean they look meaner in life because they're kind of flashing on the camera right there but man this car actually looks really good with no front plate bracket I'm noticing so when we come around to the side I kind of like how the headlight shape looks like with it all blacked out and everything off. So we do have the individual shadow line BMW LEDs on this one. So let me get the headlights on. So now that I've noticed that these are kind of raked down, which means they're kind of this way, I've noticed some of them are raked up too. So interesting little design cues on the headlights. BMW spends a lot of time on these kinds of things. And when we come around to the side, We have the 21 inch aero wheels 954i in jet black burnished. So these are individual wheels, 21 inch, blue accents on the center there on the rondelle, red M Sport brakes, that looks really awesome. So these are 255s at the front. Now let's take a little walk to the back here. And on the back we've got 285 width. So that's a very aggressive width. We have the M badging on the front fender. M wing mirror, black window surrounds, new style door handles, block, black rocker panel, that's the little place where the uh, welcome light carpet comes out from, panoramic sunroof, new style antenna, and we've got the five emblazoned on the Hofmeister kink. Now from the back here, we've got those double L, elongated double L tail lights, black uh, spoiler on the back here blue accent on the rear rondelle m60 badging on the rear trunk as well and from this angle you can see we've got the vertical reflectors on each side no exhaust smooth bottom more diffusers so let me just kick my foot underneath the middle here so once that opens up we've got the release levers on either side here to fold down the seats in a 60 40 split we have all of your mats, front plate brackets there. You've got your tool kit, as well as your grocery bag hangers on each side. We also have a little storage space down here. And if I lift this up, charging cables. So that's uh, what's down here. There's a button here to close, another one to close and lock, but I'm just gonna kick my foot underneath the middle so we can get this to close hands-free. That's awesome. When I press this, there's the charge port door, so it no longer uh, comes with a cover for level one, level two. There's a, still a cover for level three DC fast charge. Little legend there, unlock charging cable button, and the light there as well. Now, I, okay, so if I go ahead and open up that back door, so inside we can see we have manual sunshades, kind of like the G30 body five series. You've got your door handle here, window controls. Bowers and Wilkins, my goodness. And there's that copper ground merino uh, leather. Little pocket down here. 
There is the rear seating surfaces. So we've got these interesting diamond patterns on here. Super soft merino leather. And the backs are in Atlas Gray. I'm just gonna bring that down, armrest, and the pass-through is operated up here by pressing this in like that. So that can come down. And up top, we have some microphones for Bluetooth users, reading lights, and there is the panoramic uh, sunroof, but it's closed right now. Now, we have an accessory port on the back of each front seat, a little ambient light strip here as well, USB Type-C. We've got uh, some vents on the back of the center console, and it looks like this is the four climate control thing here, but it's just not on. Two USB Type-C charging ports here, a little storage space. Uh, just down here at the bottom some more vents over here, but overall uh, We've also got handle up top coat hanger on each side Vents on the back of the B pillar as well All right, let's go open up the front door next Okay, so let's open up that front door on the passenger side So nice soft touch materials on the top here down here. We've got that copper brown merino leather nice stitching on the door panel there's that interaction light bar, which we've got in lilac right now. And some pockets down here. Big bulge in the speaker, because there's actually two speakers facing each other there. Because uh, there's no space under the seats here for speakers and such. Full power seat with lumbar. Under the thigh is manual. Headrest adjustment is also manual. Just like that, All right? Button down here for glove box. We've got the high gloss carbon fiber trim with silver threads. Vent controller here. And down here is the vent uh, direction. We have iDrive 8.5. We have uh, wireless charger on the left, storage on the right. There's the ambient light on the cup holders, two USB Type-C charging ports. Glass controls here as well for your start button, shift knob. Uh, or shift flicker thing. <laughs> iDrive controller, volume wheel, press that, 12 volt plug in there, and let's go open the door on the other side next. So once we open up the driver door here, we have Bowers and Wilkins in there, more of that beautiful trim, memory buttons, uh, seating menu button, lock unlock, you have your side mirror controls, window controls, uh, child safety for window uh, pinch protection and here that is for the rear sunshade in the back there up or down Just like so We have uh, your tailgate button here Again power seat with lumbar. So let's just take a look once again at these beautiful seats This one is a little bit covered still, but you can take a look at the other one. We've got the head-up display M steering wheel with the flat bottom 12 o'clock uh, red marker only one paddle on which one side that says boost on it and once we sit down in the car seats are very comfortable so we do also so we do have the universal garage door opener just underneath here three buttons for three garage doors this one does have the interior camera here SOS button for roadside assistance and let's just open up the sunshade, so you've got to press it forward to have it open because it scrolls from the front, kind of like the 7 Series. It is pretty cool to have that massive opening. I know that some of you will complain that you can't open it, but uh, this is kind of what they intended to do with the i4 and the concept, was just have a glass roof altogether. So now that we've taken a look in here, I just want to press the driving modes view here. So if I go to driving, so this does have the full assisted driving plus. Uh, it also has, I believe, the lane change with your eyeballs, which is pretty crazy. Uh, you've got to predetermine your following distance for the cruise control. And if you want, you can have the speed automatically adjust to the route. And if you have cruise control and you're navigating with the BMW maps, you can also get lane guiding with navigation. So that just means that the car will start changing lanes on the highway to get to your exit based upon your uh, navigation destination. And you can add a steering wheel impulse so when it changes lanes, it tells you that it's doing it for you. So that's pretty cool. And if we go to parking, I just want to take a look real quick. So there's the 360 cam. And 
backup camera, but we also have automatic front park, back park, uh, parallel park, get out of a parking spot. So that's all really good. And just wanted to see what the 3D view looks like on the uh, i5M16 Brooklyn Gray. It looks really good. And it has, actually has gesture control so I can grab the car. There it is. So I've grabbed the car and now I can move it around. Whee! All right, let's go take a look under the hood now. So you can't really see it, but the hood release is just underneath here. It's one, two, there's a little sign there that says two times if you can ever even find it. <laughs> Once we get to the front, we will lift this up to reveal a huge engine cover. So this is a dual motor uh, vehicle, one motor at the back, one motor at the front, so it's all wheel drive. And this, at optimal conditions, should get about 412 kilometers range at full charge. And we're pumping out 593 horsepower, 605 foot-pounds of torque. We have a positive battery terminal over here. We have a negative battery terminal just down here. We've got washer fluid over there. Ultimately, this is an absolute beast of a vehicle. Uh, you got to be careful with it because it's got so much torque it almost hurts. <laughs> let me know in the comments below what you think. Alright, so let me just do one more lap all the way around this crazy looking i5 M60. Yeah, so from a distance the headlights turn up okay. When I get closer they get a bit wonky. Overall, really nice in this color. It's got a very bold design to it. It's got tons of road presence. If you see this coming down the street, you'll definitely take a look at it because likely not seen many of these. But overall, I know you'll all complain. I do like the design. I do also like G30 though a lot. I think that was kind of peak 5 series, but this is a nice different direction, but it kind of holds the same values. But I just wish we could see the M5 sometime soon with the 4.4-liter uh, V8 hybrid. That'd be crazy. All right, everyone. So that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW i5 M60 in Brooklyn Gray Metallic with the copper brown merino leather inside with the Atlas Gray accents. What do you think of this car? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we've got the pricing information in the description below and uh, please follow me on Instagram show me your BMW it's Alan BMW Durham see you on the next video thank you so much for watching